What's up? It's going to be a collector read for my Sag. What's up, Sag? It's going to be for the Sag. So, you rise of Venus and North Node for the Sag. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and fuck with your girl. Also, go to glamgoddess.bigcartel.com and shop with your girl. Let's see what's going on for you, Sag. Sun, Moon, Rise of Venus and North Node. We have seduction here. So, we have seduction. Okay? So, that's attraction, teasing, hooking up, and dating, third party, temptation. Okay? What else for my Sag here? Okay, so we have shocking. So there's some type of shocking information that comes out, some type of shocking news, or there's a surprise or an epiphany here, and then not enough here. Okay, lacking confidence, self-sabotage, ego here. Okay, and then karmic relationship. Okay, so some of you guys, you or someone else that or someone you're dealing with, this is a karmic relationship here. Something is karmic. Something is meant for you to learn from and evolve and grow and let go and just involve and something that's meant to just for you to learn the lesson and let go it's a karma relationship it's a lesson basically it's meant for you to learn the lesson and keep it moving and that's just period yeah so it's like someone is trying to seduce you or you're trying to seduce someone here and someone you know is realizing that someone is not really all that into them like that or someone don't want them like that is what i'm getting here Somebody feels like they're not enough. Someone makes you feel like you're not enough or you make someone feel like they're not enough here because the relationship is karmic here. Just period. Somebody could be very triggering here. Yeah, I'm getting you. I'm getting, yeah, heartbroken. So you could be doing a lot of reflecting. So someone is doing a lot of reflecting at this time here with heartbroken here, deeply hurt and sad, feeling lost, grieving, um, despair and breakup. So there is a breakup here. Okay, so we're going to get to clarifying this though. Okay. Teddy bear, interested in you, blooming, romance, flirting, wanting to date. Okay? So you're going to be very shocked to, and, and surprised to find out that somebody is interested in you. Somebody wants to date you here. Okay? Let's see what's going on. Because with the seduction and heartbroken and not enough, somebody is not into somebody here. And somebody's in a karmic relationship. And then over here, we got interested in you over here. So somebody's interested and somebody ain't. So let's see what's going on here. Yeah, love call. Yeah, so somebody's expressing their love and their emotions and their feelings. Let's see what's going on for Sag. Some move on to Venus and North Node for my Sagittarius. What's up? What's up for Sag, baby? Yeah, love, unconditional karma. Yeah. So, okay, poker face. Bottom of that is not today. Boundaries and hurt, avoiding conversation, not dealing, still upset. So this could be some of y'all or this could be you. You know what side you on. But you keep trying to, you're trying to seduce or you keep trying to give your love to somebody that is karmic. Who they always make you feel like you're less than, always make you feel like you're not enough. Constantly stepping over your heart, breaking your heart and shit, walking all over you. All that shit. You keep trying to express your love or show somebody how much you love them and they're just not reciprocating the energy. So let me tell you something. If this is you, you know what I'm saying? If somebody cannot reciprocate the energy, if somebody cannot give you the love that you're willing to give them, then they don't fucking deserve you. And that's just on period. Do not lower your standards for no fucking body. And that's just on period. Don't do it. Stop trying to prove and show and tell somebody that you are enough. And they keep trying to make you feel like you're constantly not enough. Yeah, put that shit to rest. This is somebody you're not in communication with here. Okay, mirror in here. Two of, two of, two of cups. Definitely a relationship here. What's heartbroken here? Okay, five of swords. Five of swords here. Heartbroken. Okay, you could be dealing with the air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Okay. So I thought this is somebody could be somebody from your past here. So somebody tried to intentionally hurt you. Somebody tried to intentionally break your heart. Somebody intentionally played mind games here. This is somebody you're not in communication with here. Now they fucking heartbroken. Somebody intentionally tried to hurt you just period. They tried to do this shit intentionally here. Somebody, somebody seduced you, made you feel like they liked you. They wanted you, seduced you and all that shit. To get whatever the fuck they wanted and then intentionally broke up with you, intentionally hurt your heart, intentionally did you fuck, fucked up. If somebody did that to you, don't worry about it. They're going to pay for that. What goes around comes around. Yep. Shocking. That's why I feel like you're going to find me. Okay, I see what this is. 
I see what this is. Sagittarius here. Okay, Sag. I feel like you know something is something something is something is happening in divine timing. So you're gonna be very shocked. You're gonna be very surprised to find out that somebody wants to heal something with you here. Huh. Yeah. Look at Knight of Wands. Interested in you blooming. Oh, I see what this is. So this could be you, Sag, because this is your energy, Knight of Wands, Temperance. You could be dealing with another Sagittarius. You could be dealing with another Sagittarius here, okay? Heavy Sag with the Temperance and the Knight of Wands here. So somebody tried to make you feel, or this is your ass. Somebody tried to play mind games and make you feel like they weren't interested in you. Just period. Play games. Acted like that, man. We is not in fucking. We is not in fucking kindergarten. This is not like you writing a letter saying, "I like you." Do you like me? No, this ain't that. This ain't that. We is not doing that here. Instead of somebody being honest and real and upfront and saying, "Hey, I like you," you know what I'm saying, and yeah, I want to see where this go. Them just being one hundred about it. Somebody want to just play fucking mind games and act like they weren't interested. Act like you wasn't enough. Act like you wasn't all that. Act, you know, just act like just faking the phone. Faking the phone. Here, yeah, you ain't got to fake that shit. Be honest. Be, be, be real about your feelings. Be honest about your feelings. Just period. That's why I feel like it's going to be a shock to you or it's a shock to somebody to, fit, to find out, damn, that you, that you fuck with them or that you like them. I feel like somebody is very, because they very immature with the knot of ones. This is somebody that's very in and out. They're in and out. They're high risk here. This is somebody that's a risk taker. And they come in real sexual. Real sexual, playing games. Somebody is fucking immature. That's why they got they got some more growing up to do. Yeah. So somebody had you all in your head. So you had somebody all in their head. You had somebody worried and stressed out because you felt like some. you made somebody feel like they was inadequate to you or oh, they didn't amount to shit yeah i'm telling you not the ones so i feel like somebody felt insecure they felt insecure you this person made you feel insecure or you felt insecure Somebody rushed in. Yeah, it's like somebody, somebody's impulsive. It's like somebody rushed in trying to fuck, trying to have sex here. Somebody's very sexual. It's like somebody came at you in a sexual fucking manner. It's like it's like somebody comes, it's like somebody came around or only want to come around when they want to fuck you. Nah, don't let nobody play with you like that. You need to set boundaries with a motherfucker. Straight up, set boundaries. Let a motherfucker know you mean business. Don't let nobody play with you like that. Somebody only, somebody only rushing in. They rushing in or calling you or they coming at you all aggressive and shit on some sex. Somebody coming at you on some sexual shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't showing you no love. I ain't no cuts. I'm playing a bunch of mind games. Want to just fuck. I ain't showing you no type of emotions and shit. I ain't showing you none of that. Made you feel like you wasn't a fuck enough here. Your judgment. You keep trying to express your feelings and express your love for somebody, and they and they on some immature, whack ass shit. Yeah, judge me here. You're gonna get this happiness that you want, and all you wanted, all you wanted was just a family, j just this happy ending. You know, with the white picket fence, the dog, the cats, the house, and shit. Now somebody wanna call you and tell you, message you, and tell you how much that you mean to them, how much they love you, and all this shit. Yup. Look at here. Ten of Wands. Somebody ain't nothing but stress. That's all they got for you, baby, is stress. Stress, problems, and a headache. Somebody ain't nothing but a fucking burden. That's all the fuck they is. They ain't nothing but a headache. It ain't worth your time. Yeah. Now somebody want to tell you how much they love you. Unconditional love, self-love, and wholeness, affection, and attraction here. I feel like you somebody that's very attractive. Now the ones could be young. You're young. You know, a lot of stamina. You know, you're, you're, you're young, flirty. Um, I feel like you, you just look very good here and people could look at you as like, oh, I'm just going to, I'm going to fuck that. I'm going to fuck that. Yeah. I'm I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I'm going to get that there. I'm going to get that there. You know what I'm saying? And playing games. You ain't got to do all that. Yeah. And 
and I feel like you were somebody that was unconditional loving. Somebody wanted to make you feel a way. I feel like somebody wanted to make you, somebody wanted to fuck with your, with, with your self-esteem. That's what I'm really getting. Because you fine as fuck, somebody wanted to fuck with your self-esteem and make you feel less than, make you feel like you wasn't all of that. That's what they wanted. When really they was attracted to your ass like a motherfucker and they was really feeling your ass, really feeling you. Bitch, I'm, I'm getting ice spice. Niggas a munch. Eat it for lunch. Thought I was feeling you? Bitch, now you ain't feeling their ass. Bitch, you thought I was feeling you? Okay. And all you had, you had nothing but unconditional love for somebody. Yeah, you, you show yourself a lot of self-love. Yeah, I feel like you're selfless here. And somebody wanted to play a game. Yeah, they was fronting. Poker face at the bottom of the day. They fronting. Like they, like, they ain't really was fucking with you like that. They really was fucking with you, though. And they're like, yeah, now they want to talk. And they're like, they don't want to talk to you and shit. Yeah, they, yeah. they really want to apologize. They decide they want to, they really want to apologize. They want to make amends. Because <laughs> they feel like a fucking fool. I don't know why people play them type of games. Okay, that's what I have for you, Sad. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and fuck with your girl. But this motherfucker karmic. You need to keep going straight up. I feel like the purpose, the purpose of this relationship is for God trying to, is for God to show you, hey, you need to learn your worth. Know your worth. Self-love. Self-love is the best love. And once you show yourself self-love, you will show another person how to treat you here. And I feel like that was the purpose of this relationship. You you fucking with people who want to come in at you like you ain't nothing but sex. Like you ain't nothing but a fucking sex dungeon or something. No, it ain't that. You worth more than that. You are more than that. You are more than just looks and beauty here. But you more than that. You are enough. We know that you are enough and that you do deserve love. Just period. Leave these funky ass motherfuckers alone. They raggedy ass. That's what I have for you. Don't forget to like, I'm sharp and fuck with your girl. Bye.